Welcome back to another Ski Boat Service video by Ski Boat Parts Online.com. I'm Ron Tannis and I'm going to walk you through the shaft alignment procedure done on a typical ski boat. Uh, this will be done uh, in a couple of different videos. There are at least four major parts or pieces to this puzzle uh, as we go through them. Uh, one uh, first area that needs to be addressed is the strut, the part that holds the shaft right ahead of the propeller. The strut bearing inside, which is a sleeve bearing, a rubber uh, sleeve bearing, must be in good condition. Uh, think of it like this, if you take your car for a front end alignment and the, all the rubber bushings are shot, you're wasting your money. So the strut bearing must be in good condition. I'm going to show you a picture here of a poor bearing uh, and then a bearing that's been replaced in, in brand new condition. Uh, the next area that we need to look at is the uh, shaft opening at the shaft log. This is where the shaft comes through the bottom of the boat. The clearance between the shaft and the shaft log must be correct. Uh, thirdly is what most people think is the, the only thing they need to look at and that is the clearance between the prop shaft coupling and the transmission coupling. Uh, this clearance must be no greater than three thousandths of an inch. This is achieved by using a feeler gauge uh, to measure. Uh, you check the top, the bottom, the right and the left sides. Um, but also uh, an often overlooked area is the fourth uh, area is clearance underneath the engine. I've had a number of boats come in the shop where the bell housing is literally resting and rubbing a hole uh, into the uh, hull of the boat. So we must maintain clearance uh, between the bottom of the engine and the uh, bottom of the boat. Uh, so hang on tight. Here we go. Hopefully uh, this will answer some questions and remove some of the voodoo that people think uh, is involved. Uh, with aligning your ski boat shaft. Okay, well step number one is to assess the condition of your strut bearing. This is right ahead of the propeller. Uh, a typical strut bearing will last anywhere from 5 to 15 years. Um, you can grab a hold of that shaft and pull it back and forth up and down. If there's play in the shaft it needs to be changed. But this is all addressed in another video that I have. Go to the uh, my channel and you'll see a separate video strictly on the strut bearing. So I'm not going to spend much time on that today for shaft alignment, uh, but it must be in, uh, in good condition before we go to the next step. Step number two is to make sure that all of our motor mounts, which are fully adjustable, are serviceable. Sometimes a boat will come in and the motor mounts are so rusted up uh, you cannot adjust the engine. So uh, the first thing I do is apply some uh, penetrating oil to the threaded rods in the motor mounts. Uh, see if they'll loosen up and if they will not uh, you will you have really have no choice but to remove the mount from the engine and completely service it and if it's not serviceable it may have to be replaced. Uh, here's a stud that was cleaned up and the threads are still shot so it has to be replaced. Uh, I'm going to show a few different mounts, a few different pictures of different mounts that are used. Uh, the forward mounts, the rear mounts, but uh, the, the very next step is to make sure that all these mounts uh, are adjustable up and down. Um, there's also a trunnion that will allow the motor to slide right to left. Um, there are a couple different types of trunnions out there, or the trunnion bolts particularly, that lock the trunnion still. Uh, one is a simple through bolt where you will see the head of the bolt and the nut on the back side. Um, that uh, is, is self-explanatory. It simply clamps the trunnion in place but there is another style that's used. Uh, we call it a half round trunnion bolt. Um, here you can see in this picture I've circled the front end of the trunnion bolt where you would think there would be a head but there isn't. Um, on the back side there are nuts that are tightened uh, but uh, next I'm going to show you a, a trunnion bolt or a half trunnion bolt that's been removed so you can see that it's a half round 
cut out. It's important that you don't over tighten these. Uh, to loosen them, you simply loosen the nut uh, two or three turns and give it a light tap inwards and it will uh, unlock the trunnion. So getting the motor mounts ready to service is the very next step that I do. Um, after that we're ready to do some alignment work and then we'll go to some videos that show the alignment process. Here's another look at another style of motor mount. Uh, this has a uh, your trunnion going into the mount. Uh, this has the tip or common uh, nut and bolt arrangement, not a half bolt. Uh, you tighten that top bolt and it will lock it in position. Uh, this one also has a simple uh, raising and lowering nut. You, uh, the top nut is a jam nut. You raise and lower the motor by adjusting the bottom nut and then locking it down with the top again. Uh, this is found on a more modern boat. Uh, here's another style. Uh, this style, the entire vertical bolt is turned with that top nut to raise and lower the engine. This one has the uh, half moon cutout type uh, uh, trunnion bolt. Um, this is the one you just simply loosen, tap, and it loosens it up and then snug it up uh, when you're finished with your adjustment. Uh, same thing on the other side here. Uh, the entire motor is raised and lowered by turning that top nut. The front mounts on this engine are uh, similar to the back. And it's got a flat spot on the top. You can put a wrench and rotate the, the, uh, the, the vertical bolt and that will raise and lower. The here are some additional things you will need for the next step, part two, the actual alignment. Uh, some penetrating oil for those motor mounts, uh, a large pry bar, some feeler gauges, and a short piece of rubber hose comes in handy, a piece of one inch water hose. It's not required, but you'll see how I use that. What is not shown are all of the wrenches that are going to be used for adjusting the motor mounts uh, and loosening uh, the bolts for the coupling halves. Stay tuned for part two.